Yeah, just a few brief observations, if I may. Look, uh, uh, the Durban conference uh, has broken up without any significant outcomes. Just proves that this is going to be a do-nothing decade for global action on climate change. It demonstrates that Australia's carbon tax is an international orphan and it is confirming that uh, electricity prices in Australia are going to go up and up and up. That is an unnecessary burden on Australian households and it will produce no commensurate environmental gain. Uh, on the uh, reshuffle, uh, which uh, we understand is imminent, uh, basically the Prime Minister is trying to buy the loyalty of the faceless men. Uh, these are the people who put her in there uh, a year or so back. Uh, uh, they're obviously thinking of shifting to Mr Rudd. Well, uh, she's trying to buy some insurance uh, with this reshuffle. Will you consider reshuffling your front bench to match her new look team? Uh, her problem is that she's got uh, fundamentally bad policy and she's trying to mask the lack of good policy by changing personnel. Well, I've got good policy. I've also good, got good personnel. Um, you never rule out change if uh, there are retirements, but I am very satisfied with my team and uh, my team is the team I expect to lead into the election. Are you encouraging anyone to retire? <laughs> uh, well, I was encouraging Peter Slipper, but uh, he's now got a new job courtesy of the Prime Minister. Coalition's received a boost in the polls today. Nice way to finish the year. Look, uh, I think that, uh, as always, it's the field evidence that people should be focused on and that I'm focused on. And this is a bad government getting worse. And today's reshuffle, uh, if it happens, will just demonstrate that the Prime Minister herself knows that her team is failing. 80% of, of those polled in that Nielsen poll support a conscience vote. MPs getting a conscience vote. Will you consider that? I think above all else, uh, people want politicians to keep their commitments. Now, uh, eight times before the last election, the Prime Minister said that as far as the Labor Party was concerned, uh, marriage was between a man and a woman. Uh, five times before the last election, I said that as far as the Coalition was concerned, uh, marriage is between a man and a woman. Now, I think it's very important that politicians don't say one thing before an election uh, and do the opposite after an election, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, we'll be sticking to our commitments. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very guys. much. Okay.